Hello everyone, my name is Justin, and this is a joint work between Al Magor from Technion in Israel and Lahajanian from the University of Colorado Boulder, USA. I am pleased to talk to you about an explainable motion planning framework that we've been working on. So before I go into the explainable part, let me first just explain what multi-agent pathfinding is. Multi-agent pathfinding is the problem of solving for a motion plan for multiple agents such that when these plans are run simultaneously, none of the agents collide with each other. We solve this problem by employing motion planners, find a plan, and voila, we have a solution. Okay, so that seems easy enough, but let us now consider a scenario where a human controller is tasked with verifying that the plan is collision free prior to executing it on a real system. One way to do this is to show a video, but the challenge with the video is that it requires immense concentration, which only gets more difficult as the number of agents increase or the speed at which these vehicles move increase. A more standard way to present the plan would to be show an image in the two-dimensional workspace. But, as you can see, this presents a different problem. With many path intersections in the image, it is difficult or even impossible to verify that the path is collision-free by looking at the entire plan. We present a new explanation scheme that eliminates this issue, enabling a human controller to quickly and easily verify that the path is collision-free. So rather than showing the human user the entire plan at once, we only show certain trajectory segments at a time. Specifically, we show disjoint segments, allowing for quick and easy verification by showing how the agents evolve in the workspace over time. The magic is rooted in the fact that recognizing intersecting lines happens very early in our cognitive process. Hence, showing disjoint trajectory segments is an efficient and easy way to explain a multi-agent path. A common question at this point is why we should even care about explaining a multi-agent path. The answer stems from the fact that there is little to no trust between provably correct algorithms and the daily users of such algorithms. This means that we end up using trained humans to perform tasks that we designed algorithms to do. This is especially true in safety critical situations such as air traffic control or hazardous material warehouses. Our solution would allow us to be more efficient in our approach to these problems by utilizing the algorithms to compute a path, and then explain the correctness of that path to a trained human supervisor. Once convinced, the human makes the final decision to execute the plan. One method of generating the segmentations is by using known motion planning techniques such as RRT to plan and then write post-process functions to segment the path for us. This would solve the planning problem, but fails to even consider the explainability problem. And without any control on how many segments are required to explain the path, we might end up in a situation like this one, where there are a lot of tiny segments, and the plan takes a lot of images to explain. So we sought out to generate a new algorithm that could answer the planning problem and the explainability problem simultaneously. We call our solution Maps RRT. So consider a multi-agent system, each with continuous, possibly nonlinear dynamics. First, we compose the state and input spaces together, creating a centralized system. Next, we initialize mapped RRT, sample a state, an input, and some tiny delta t. After that, we use those sampled variables to propagate the system from some near state to some new state. Regular RRT would just continue this process many times in Rn, until it finds a solution. Maps RRT goes a step further, however, by projecting each node onto a two-dimensional workspace. The result would look something similar to what you see on your screen. Since we include collision checking into the planning loop, we know this trajectory is valid. It's just hard to verify. From here, we efficiently track intersections and update the cost of each node, where the cost is the number of disjoint trajectory segments required to explain the path. This allows us to prune segments that are too difficult to explain, guaranteeing a satisfiable explanation scheme for its solutions. If we provide maps RRT with a maximum cost of four, this could be the result. Notice how it is clear the agents do not collide. We can also take this a step further by imagining a scenario that is both safety and time critical. We would need a plan to be verified immediately. So as a concluding remark, I ask you all, which would be better, the path image on the left or the video on the right? Thank you, and at this time, I would like to answer any questions you all might have.